Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. When it comes to designing your reports in Power BI, there's a lot you can do to make it exciting and bring your report to life. For starters, you can create and import your custom theme, combine your own colors, bring in a custom font, and all that. I'll show you in this video. But in this video, we want to learn how to use Glass Morph or Glass Morphism. It's a new design feature with a nice stunning transparent background. You can design and import in Power BI to create your reports. So join me and let's get this done in a few minutes. Okay, so this is what we want to achieve in Power BI. Nothing complex here, a very simple design. I used a sample data set from Power BI. I don't have any measures here. I just wanted to focus on the design. So I have income, expense, profit, and I have some profit trend here, right? So all this, the hard work was done in PowerPoint, right? So from just a basic slide, we were able to create the glass more and then import it into Power BI. So let's begin. So I'm going to start Control N and open a new presentation. Okay, so I'm going to change the layout. So this layout is the title layout, change it to a blank layout, right? Now, I have this blank layout. I want to use a picture, the picture you saw as a background. So gently right click on it. And then I have my format background here. Now, in the format background, I can fill with a picture. So I'll go to picture and then look for the picture source. So here I use stock images. Okay, which is available to you as a PowerPoint user. So I have stock images here. I just use a random stock image. So if you scroll down, the thing with glass morph is that it works on any background, right? So I used this image. Yeah, that's it. So I have it here and then I will insert it. You can play with the transparency and all that, but I'll maintain it as it is. Now, Beyond this, we are going to insert our shapes. So we use the rounded corners. So I'll click this rounded corners rectangle. Okay, and then gently draw my shape here. Okay, so I have something like that. Okay, I already have my format shape pane opened. Okay, so here, instead of using a solid fill, I'm going to change it to a gradient fill, right? Now, the gradients, we have some stops by default, right? You could also choose the type, okay? So we'll maintain it at linear, okay? But in the direction, we we'll choose this one, the one that flows from top left to bottom right, okay? So we we'll choose that. And then come and work on the colors. So for this purpose, in creating this glass morph, we need only two points. So I'll select the, the two stops in the middle and then take them off. Okay, so I'll select this one and then take it off. So we have only two points at the moment. Now, the first point, it is the one on the left. Okay, we are going to use a color that matches the background. Okay, so I'll select that and I'll go to my color. Okay, and then I'm going to use eyedropper. So I'm not too sure what type of green I have here. So I will use eyedropper, okay, and just pick the sample. So when I choose the eyedropper, I get this green here. Then in the second one, the one to the right, I'll click on it and then choose white. Right. So we are getting there. Now select the first stop, okay. And we are going to increase the transparency on the first stop to about 80. Okay, so let's increase this to about 80 or if you like 85 just to make it transparent right so that's that and then in the second one we'll increase it to about 35 right so that should be fine yeah 35 should be fine now when you're done with this come to the borderline so you drop the borderline okay and then instead of the default blue, you make this white. Okay. So 
So that's it. So we now have this glass like or glass morph it's transparent. Okay, you can place it on any image. We are going to use this as cards for the designs we are going to use in Power BI. Okay, so now that we have this, let's insert our caption. So I'm going to close this. I'll bring in a text box. So I'll click on this text box and then I'll nicely draw this here. So this is going to be income. Okay, so I'll select this control A, control B, control E to center. Okay, I can increase the font control shift dot. Okay, to increase it a bit. I like this font, Red Hat. Okay, so it's a custom font I downloaded. Okay, and then I'm going to make the color this dark light gray with 75%. Okay, so that is my first set. Okay, so now that I've done this, I can simply select this. Okay, and then with these two items selected, I'll just press Control D. Okay, so with Control D, I can nicely now move this to the middle position for the second set. Okay, then another Control D that's just fits in place nicely. Okay, so I'll just come in here, name this expense. Okay, and then I'll name this profit. Okay, now the final thing we're going to do is to duplicate this again, Control D. Okay, and then use it as the background for our chat, right? So I'll just stretch this all the way to the end. Okay, and then open this up a bit. Okay, for our chat. So that's going to sit right here. Right. Now I can copy one of these text boxes and then bring it here. Okay, and then label it as profit trend. So as I said, you can add on. Um, you can use several pages here, but the basic design has been done. Okay, so now that we are done with our initial design, let's put in some icons. So I'll go to insert. Okay, I have access to some icons here. Now, these are basically arrows. So one pointing in for income, out for expense. So I'll look for arrows. I'll choose this one. Okay, and then I'll choose that one for the profit. And then I also look for trend. Okay, so when I choose trend, I get, I think I can use anything here. Okay, so I'll use this for trend. Okay, so I'll insert these three. And then once it comes in, I can now place it where it's supposed to be. So I'll just increase this a bit. Okay, so it doesn't take a lot of space. So that is for my profit and then this is going to be for my income okay and then then i'm going to duplicate this okay for expense okay this turn it round and then flip horizontal right so that's that and then i have my profit trend also here okay now this i'm going to just and then color them white. Okay, so I do the first one, F4 to repeat the process for the rest. Okay, so we are done with this design. Now the next step is to take this into Power BI. So I'm going to save this F12, save us as a PNG. Okay, you can use JPEG or you can use SVG, right? Any of these image types are fine. I already have a version here, so let me make this two. Okay, and then I'll save this. So that's this one. Okay. So in, I already created this, but if you start off with a blank Power BI report, okay, what you need to do is to import this. So when you go to your visual, okay, in the canvas background, you have the option to format your reports page. So you have your canvas background here, and then I'm going to bring in the image that is saved. Okay, so I'll just double click this. Now, usually when it comes in, you will not see anything. So you'd have to go down, okay, and then reduce the transparency. Okay, so, and then in the image fits, you change it from normal to fit. Okay, so when you change it from normal to fit, it just sits in nicely. Right, 
Now, my sample data is here. Okay, so as I said, I don't really have any measures here. I'm going to just use the implicit measures. So I will come to the visualization and then insert a card. So I'll just insert this card here. Okay, and then bring in my sales. Now, you realize that I have the same Red Hat font here. Now, this is a custom theme that I created. So it's just a basic text file. Okay, so the name is fine. Next, these are the data colors. Okay, so these are my hex codes. Okay, and then the font size and the font type is here. Okay, so once I have this as text, okay, all I did was I came to view. Okay, I dropped this down. So these are the default themes. And then when I go down, I have the option to browse for themes. So I browse for themes and then I pick this theme JSON, right? So then I pick this theme. So that's how I imported this. So I now so I'm now able to use my preferred fonts, which is Red Hat. Okay. So with this in, I can now come and then format this properly. So my color value, I'm going to increase this to about 30. Five, about 30. So I'm going to increase this to about 30. So building this, okay. And then I'll come to my category label and then turn this off. Okay, so after turning off the category label, we we'll switch to general and then under effects, we'll turn off the background, right? So in this way, it is transparent. Um, you can see through to our glass morph. So I'll copy this, control C, control V, and then move this to expense. Okay. And then while I'm here, control C, control V, move this to profit. Make sure it's aligned. So I'll come to expense and then change this from sales to cost of goods and then profit. Change this from sales to profit. Okay. This is just dummy data. So, and then for our profit trend, it's going to be a clustered column chart. So I will insert this and then position it here. Okay, so open it up to fit it in the space. And then my X axis is going to be month name. So thankfully I have month name here. So I'll push this in the X axis and my Y axis is going to be profit. So I'll put this here. So as we did, just some basic formatting to turn off the background. So I'll come to the formatting. In the Y axis, I'll open this up, turn this off for the Y axis, and then turn the title off, right? Just to keep it clean and simple, right? And then I'll come to general and then turn off under effects the background, right? And then turn off the title as well. Okay. So Nothing complicated, but the focus is to show you how you can use this technique, the glass morph, to create a very nice design. As I said, it fits on any background, right? So try your hands on it, practice, and add it to your list of Power BI skills. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number will add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finance Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.